Hey guys, so I feel like it has been <laughs> a hot second since I filmed a YouTube video and I also feel like I say that every single time I film a YouTube video and I'm so sorry about that. I'm trying to be more consistent. I promise once lockdown is over, you'll be seeing my face on your feed so much, you'll report me. And that's a promise. But today uh, we're going to be reacting to something I couldn't possibly not react to and that is a teaser's comeback with I'm the one. And I saw the teaser for this and I'm really excited, you know. Um, 80s songs have always been kind of hit or miss for me. Oh, I hate saying that. Um, but I, I've always liked their title tracks and I think they've always had good albums. But sometimes they have songs that I only just listen to for short periods of time or whatever. Sometimes it's just that kind of thing. But listening to this, I feel like I am going to adore this song so, 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 so much. Um, their last comeback was uh, Inception slash Thanks. And Inception, I loved. And Thanks is a bop, but not really a song I listen to too often. Inception, I adored though and you can go check out my reaction to that song but yeah this i'm the one I and mean, i i'm really excited for like i feel like i'm really going to eat this up the visuals look good the choreo looks good um i did watch the entire minute teaser i only was gonna allow myself to watch a few seconds of it but then i was like no one minute <laughs> Oh my god, bless me. My bias in 80s. Oh, I can never decide. Um, probably Songha. And I do know that Mingi isn't a part of this comeback because he uh, because of mental health, I learned. Which is, you know, big sag, but I'm also glad that he's looking after himself. So let's go. <laughs> okay, 80s. I'm the one. My mic's in the way. Let's go. Subtitles on. There aren't any subtitles. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I love this song so much. Oh, Burberry vibes. Let's get it. That's it. Your song? Black head, your song. Come on. It gives me, oh, it's the same kind of vibe that Kai went for with his solo stuff that I freaking love. Do you know what? I prefer black hair Jong Ho, but black, but like red hair Jong Ho. I actually really like that Mingi is still like in the song. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, Yunho always dances like his red is you. This thing! <laughs> it's the crop top. Oh, young long black hair. Yeah, I love the vibes of this song. Oh my god, always to final destination. I love these verses. <laughs> you redhead son. <laughs> oh, Young's voice is so peng. Ooh, that bling. I refuse to believe that he is the same age as me. Yo, yes, look, wait, your son got more than one line? Hong Jin looks so peng with his hair like that. Quite a simple MV, you know. What? I'm not with it. That grabs up on set, let's go! I can't, I can't wait to see choreo properly. What's the story? Tell me the story. Oh, he's telling me the story. That outfit, this the hair, it's the itch. Bitch, stop it. Don't look at me like that. I will message your mother. He looks weird anything seven of them. Whoa! How 
loud. Sorry, Songha must be loud when he dances. He must be speaking like no other. Oh, okay, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Yosa, get your sentence out. Whoa, whoa, he ended center too? Whoa, am I living in like the Matrix or something? That's Hong Jung, surely no one else is that tiny. Eh? Maybe I'm wrong. Hello, okay, so. <laughs> That was a highly enjoyable experience. I'll start off with the song. I already knew I was going to like the song, but I really, really like that, you know, it somehow stayed chill, but still had like those hype vibes in the chorus. I really, really, really love the verses of this song. I also really like the, like, um, Sun's bit it gave me like very similar R&B trappy style that Kai went for with his solo stuff, which I really freaking love. I think they all sounded so good. I think Young really popped off as did uh, Jongho. As always, Jongho, we already know, is a banging vocalist, but I feel like Young really shone in this too. And also the fact that Yosang got not only one line, not only two lines, but three lines and center time, things we love to see. Um, obviously Mingi wasn't in the MV, but I like that he was still in the song. Obviously it would have been silly if he just wasn't in the song point blank. Um, but I really love when groups still like, you know, involve the members that are on hiatuses. But all in all, I really like the song. I really love the vibes. I really like the chorus. This is a song I listen to all the time. I can feel it in my bones. And then the MV. The MV was actually very simplistic um, in a good way, you know, like there wasn't loads, loads going on, but it was cinematically beautiful. There were some really cool scenes in there. I really like the fire, dusty, sandy aesthetic that was going on. I know that 80s have this big fat storyline that my tiny pea brain cannot comprehend. Um, I'd love to sit down and take the time to probably go through their storyline, but um, my tiny pee, pee brain doesn't want me to. <laughs> but I really enjoyed the MV. I think they all looked insane. The styling of this was immaculate. Sun in that crop top. Songha had a little PBC moment, which I did not see coming. I love those red outfits at the end. I really like the um, distressed denim looks they had. I think Hong Jung with the blonde undercut. <laughs> You know how I feel about it. You, you can see how I feel about it. I really like San and Jungho with their red hair. Like I said, I prefer San and Jungho with their black hair, but I actually really like the red. Has San actually ever had red hair before? Not that I can know, Tom. But I actually think like it was very evenly spread around all the members. Like obviously I'm talking about Songha, uh, Hong Jung, Uyang, San, Yunho. Oh my God, Yunho, like I said, always dances like his rent is due and I'm kind of here for it. Like, you know, I think his voice also really, really suited this style of song. Like his um, second verse sounded so good he suited so much had that like the song had that kind of just right level of you know the little auto-tune kind of vibe but obviously everybody knows the 80s are vocal legends so if anybody comes for them for having an auto-tune style song i swear to god but i really like the song really like the mv and i'm very very excited to see the choreography properly everybody already knows 80s choreographies pop Woof. so i'm very excited to see the live stages of this also seeing the aesthetic and the vibe of the mv i'm very excited to see what the set is like for their stages i can imagine like some really cool like inky Gaios stages with like that sandy vibe and all the fireworks and stuff and the choreography looks so good and i really enjoy um watching 80s choreographies and performances and hopefully this is no exception so let's go but all in all i really love this song the mv was so cool and so pretty and um aesthetically a fire <laughs> but yes that was my reaction to a teasers i'm the one oh my god why did i find that such a tongue twister <laughs> if you enjoyed be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe tell me what your favorite part of the mv was down in the description be sure to follow all of my social media i stream every day over on twitch which is why youtube has been a little bit on the back burner for me but i promise i'm working really hard to get everything balanced again and i will see you guys in my next video bye